What's up, my beautiful people? <laughs> it's your boy, 1K Joe, Mr. Steal Your Ho, a.k.a. I don't know. Oh! Damn, I'm spitting bars, man. <laughs> he doesn't say and nah, it's like nah, but y'all check out my other channel, man, my music channel, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna delete like half my songs cause they ass, but still check it out if you if you watch it, man. You might as well just, just fuck with me, gang. But anyways, today's video, as I always tell y'all, y'all can read the title. I'm sure I'll be skipping this intro part anyways, even though I love y'all and I never do y'all like that. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I learned to not take stuff personal. But anyways, we got we got something special for y'all today. As always, you know, y'all been eating up these reactions, so might as well, gang. So without further ado, we might as well just get to it. Mr. Beast allegations have dropped yet again. And this time, it's well, involving the first time. taking parts of charity work and allegedly some shady crypto stuff. Uh -oh. So last time on the Mr. Beast saga, we covered the fact that he got sued by contestants on his Beast Games Amazon show. And we covered the whole lunchly disaster with KSI and Logan Paul. And we even made a- I'm not gonna lie. I know it's 22 seconds in. Y'all chill out. Relax. Relax, okay? But did I just see Prime? The drink Prime, bro? Hold up. So last time on the lie. Mr. Beast saga, we covered the fact that he got sued by contestants on his Beast Games Amazon show, and we covered the whole lunch lead. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Who made Prime, bro? Who created Prime, bro? Prime is so nasty, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Prime is actually disgusting. Who made this shit? Who? I, I need to have a talk with them, bro. Because tell me why... Look, this might be an unpopular opinion, bro. Yeah, I'm spitting everywhere. But Prime is literally so nasty, bro. Like, I'm so for real. They all taste the same. Like, stop. Like, why are we promoting this, gang? Like, stop it. Y'all need to be. Y'all need to get up out of here. Faster with KSI and Logan Paul. All right, I'm stopping. And we even pausing. made a full recap of everything so far. But this time, we have new massive allegations by Rosanna and Dogpack who alleged that Mr. Beast may be faking the extent of his charity work, as well as may be involved in some shady crypto stuff, potentially market manipulation, and much more. Mm. Which would fit right in line with his two best buddies, Logan and KSI. So Rosanna Pantino posted a video about a week ago, Mr. Beast is a criminal Ooh. leaked video. So let's start with the part about philanthropy, where Mr. Beast allegedly convinces his audience that he built an entire hospital when he just didn't. I a few months ago, at the very top of a 9,000 foot mountain in a remote part of Nepal, this hospital looked like this. That, that looks CGI. But if you don't see the CGI at home, I'll point it out. This is the before shot of the hospital, this is the after shot, and then same thing over here. What I noticed is that Dan Mace, who's the director on Beast Philanthropy, did a behind the scenes video <clears throat> for this shoot where they build a hospital in Nepal or whatever. Mm -hmm. I started off by getting the opening shots. I like to call these pinky plant match cuts. These are great for- This, the building looks very different than in shots like this. And, uh, you know, for one example, there's like moss growing here, which is- Yeah, it looks more decrepit. Yeah, and it's like this the one. concrete's breaking down right here. There's like holes in the roof. Uh, there's like all this. Why are you building a hospital? In the real shot, right? there's That's no moss. Little, yeah. There's no decrepit. Right here, you'll notice this pillar, two white lines. Right here, same pillar, two white lines. There's a building yeah. behind it. So in this opening shot, huh. where Mr. B says, This is what the hospital looked like a month ago, they digitally removed the entire hospital <laughs> to make it look like <laughs> they built the hospital. That messed up. Like they built the bigger building. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously really bad if true because Mr. B's number one defense is I do charity work, therefore everything shady I do is automatically okay. But if the charity work is not even what you say, then how can anybody possibly trust you again? Oh. And I gotta say, digitally removing an entire building in a before and after to make it seem like you built the whole hospital is absolutely insane work, I okay? Up, Building hospitals can cost like a hundred million dollars. So obviously he's <laughs> not spending that much on his charity. And the thing is, he does fake some of his regular videos, but we all assume that the charity and philanthropy has to be completely true 
but you can't be doing this sort of shady editing to make the video look better when it comes to charity. Now, obviously adding special effects here and there is completely fine, right. but when it comes to charity work, you have to say and show exactly what you did exactly. because there are people on the other side paying you to do the things you say you do. Uh -huh. So if you show people that you are building hospitals in the visuals and even convincing your sponsor, Minecraft, that that's actually what you did when you're actually just installing solar panels, that is absolutely scumbag behavior. So I actually went to the video, it's called We Powered a Mountain, and people from Nepal have actually uh, commented, pointing it out. I'm from Nepal and this place is located in the Sinduli district. People from Sinduli say that he only added the solar lights in the hospital, but the building itself was built by the Nepali government and not Mr. Beast. Yep, every Ooh. couple weeks we learn something absolutely boy, crazy about Mr. Beast yet again. If hiring a bunch of criminals wasn't enough, having registered offenders in your videos, whoa, 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 all the shady that? stuff. Whoa. Yep, every couple charges. weeks we learn something Dang. absolutely crazy about Mr. Beast yet again. If hiring a bunch of criminals... Nah, hold up. Previously charged with at least 20 counts of. This his associate guy? Y'all see what I'm seeing? <laughs> Yo! ...wasn't enough, having registered offenders in your videos, all the shady stuff with illegal lotteries, feastables, beast games. Uh, he had to go and fake elements of the charity work. Real weak ass, bro. I you just had a Mr. Beast box the other day, gang, like... Price. <laughs> ...as well. And that's why it was important to point out that Mr. Beast fakes his videos, because clearly that trend is not just for the entertainment videos, yeah. but carries over to the philanthropy and charity work, which is absolutely unacceptable. That's where you draw the line, gang. Eh? Now, it turns out Mr. Beast also added uh, a little bit of that editing magic to make the place look way more trashy and decrepit uh, and broken down to make it look like it was worse in the before picture. Mm. And then he fixed it and magically made it absolutely perfect. But yeah, they that takes like some work, work to fake videos, though. I ain't gonna lie. The, these, uh, Either way, it's this, F trash, <laughs> this, this looks like a PlayStation 2 graphic. It doesn't have any of that in the video. And these pictures were used in news articles to show that Mr. Beast revitalizes Nepal Hospital. What wow. they actually did in the video was just install solar panels. They didn't build the hospital, but he made it seem like they did. And the danger <laughs> with this is like, where do you draw the line? Right. Because if you're exaggerating what you're doing as a charity, mm -hmm. then you're taking attention and funding away from other charities who might be more honest. Because like, why would I donate to someone who's, you know, raising guide dogs for blind people when Mr. Beast can just apparently cure blindness <laughs> according to his video. Okay, Dogpack so. actually has a very good point there because when you exaggerate charity, it's a very slippery slope. Mm. And some people might be donating to you uh, instead of another charity that might actually be doing more than you because, you know, that charity is actually honest with what it says it does. Meanwhile, you are basically lying. Now, in this next part, he shows how a house they built might be fake too, or at least they added some CGI elements. This secluded town in the middle of nowhere looked like this. You saw it? The building. Um, look at how fake this yeah, tank yeah. looks. It, that's definitely a fake look tank. Look how fake these flowers are. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm a girl, I know my flowers. <laughs> okay, yeah. no, no. So, but I think there is some part of a real building here, uh -huh. but then they just use generative AI or, or you know, editing or, or whatever to expand it. Cause it's like- well, I was going things, in and out like that. Look at that. It's mo- no. And then like the building here is like expanding. So it's like they <laughs> that added boy's on the whole back half of the that building the flowers here like not lining up. You can barely tell that this is faked. No. So, like how many things like this are they getting away with where they're making it look like they did more than they actually did? Because they say that this is what the town looks like now and then this is what it looked like before. Yeah. And it's just not true. It's dishonest. No, it's completely deceptive. Okay, again, these are just allegations, but it's really hard to trust someone who is editing their before and afters, right? Because now I'm thinking, right, based on that previous one, is that was that really how the town looked before or did you edit it to make it look worse? And is this really how the house looks now? Or have you CGI inserted a tank and CGI inserted a bunch of flowers uh. and random stuff here and there to make the house look better than it actually is? Uh. It is extremely dishonest to do stuff this way. And why is the house freaking wavy? Now that might possibly be some sort of a editing effect. Maybe it's like a transition they use. That's what I assumed immediately. 
But again, I, maybe it's purposely put there to greatly exaggerate the house and fake it so that people don't notice that these parts are fake. It's just genuinely heartbreaking to hear that a lot of the charity stuff might be fake or exaggerated as well. And I just don't understand why they just can't be straight up and honest about it. But uh, apparently maximizing YouTube views is above uh, doing honest charity work. This is a message from a former Mr. Beast employee who, who knows of the philanthropy. Uh, he says, I was told that the philanthropy side was supposed to be Jimmy's get out of jail free card if he ever got canceled. They wanted Jimmy to win a Nobel Prize within the next few years. I mean, parts are cut out for privacy. Mm -hmm. It's all just for clout and social status. I feel like them helping people is literally on the bottom of their to-do list. He's making it look like they did more than they actually did. Here's one where he claimed to build 100 wells, but in multiple shots, you see the same wells listed as different wells. Well, 29 and 67 were the same. He also said- Y'all faking the wells, a wells bro. In Kenya, That's so then showed deep. wells. That why am I getting hit with so many ads? I don't give a damn about no racetrack, hey, bro. You just got the kids down. You headed home soon? No, I don't yeah. give a damn. Shut up. Clearly built in Zimbabwe. Yeah, it's pretty clear now that the charity is just a way of propelling his brand because he's clearly uh, obsessed with being the biggest and having the biggest reputation. Uh, and a lot of people will see that sort of charity work and want to work with him. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't, if behind the scenes he did not care about a single shit about any of this stuff. But the thing is, he has been caught lying in the past where he would say that, oh, I just reinvest all my uh, money back into my videos uh, or into the charity and I'm actually poor. But that's not the case, as we'll see in the next portion nah, where Jimmy's all. gambling over $10 million in his me. random crypto stuff and is a Let me be real, bro. Who's believing that I'm actually poor? I just reinvest back into. Nah, gang, let's be real, bro. Let's be real, gang. Potentially participating in market manipulation and rug pulls as well. And obviously, none of that money was reserved for charity. Mm. Here's Rosanna also showing the disparity between how much Jimmy actually earns and how much goes to his charity. In the Time Magazine article where he was interviewed called In the Belly of the Beast, Jimmy the says that he beast. brings in about $700 million in revenue a year. And Jimmy Donaldson defends his philanthropic work against charges of poverty profiteering by pointing out that it is funded by his main channel, which sends the charity one. $100,000 yeah, well, a month. Let's do a little bit of basic math. So annual revenue, 700 million, <sighs> and you're donating 100K to your charity <laughs> every month. What percentage is that? What percentage like, of all of your revenue is donated? Okay, let me do the math. 700 million, 100K. That gotta be like less than 5%, ain't it? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. It gotta be. Donated to your charity. Out of all of the money that he makes, he donates about 0.2% to charity. What I say? What I say? Scholar Joe in the building, man. Scholar Joe in the building, nigga. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> man, Donating what? Donating that money is also a tax right off. Mm. So when he says that he gives all of his money away, that is not true. And when he says he reinvests all the money into his Come videos, on now. that is also Come on. Not true. Let's be okay, realistic. So obviously, yeah, Mr. Beast has expenses as well, and not every one of that 700 million is going to be going to charity or his videos. But, Nobody uh, of that stature is just out there just, oh yeah, I'm just right? throwing like my money back away. No, and come on. That whole uh, stick of, you know oh, you want to spend some of that money, huh? I'm still poor is real. just absolutely stupid. He's obviously filthy rich and obviously has tens of millions of dollars to spare for his own leisure and his own addictions such as gambling. So that stuff about reinvesting 100% back is just completely false. Yes, and bro, I know immediately on. when you call out Mr. Beast uh, doing all the shady stuff regarding his charity, people are going to be in the comments being like, well, uh, have you given $100,000 to charity? <laughs> As if if you give money to charity, you can't be criticized about absolutely anything. Exactly, There's obviously right. been tons of extremely shady people who've given tons of money to charity, all right? We're just pointing out the inconsistency, the lies, and just the exaggeration, which is not, not cool. You know? Anyways, that was the charity portion of the video, but now we gotta move on to the shady crypto stuff. Uh -oh. Starting with them allegedly admitting to market manipulation in Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive. Here he is with Logan Paul admitting to partaking in what sounds to me 
like market manipulation. Oh. So me and Logan both black punks. You guys have probably seen on his Twitter that uh, he bought a bunch of crypto punks at the same time, right? Yep. Gary pulled us yep. that call. Yep. So have you ever told that story? No. Uh, Gary V, it's like fucking <laughs> 11 p.m. Just out of nowhere, just calls me. And he's like, yo, I, I got like 30 people to call hop in. I'm like, I don't, give, I don't care. He's like, it'll be the best decision. You're like, just get in. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. And so I just joined the call. And I just see like Logan and I, I don't even know these other people. Yo. I put them on blast. Every heavy hitter you can imagine exactly. that was worth a billion dollars was on this one call, and Gary V is in the little corner, the little square. Yeah. He's, going, he's going, Crypto Punks, it's going to be huge. It's going to be the next Facebook. We're, all of us, we're like, okay, Everyone's Gary. Judging. I'm texting Logan. I'm like, like, is this, Gary is this legit? Yeah. Bro, all of us are like, yo, Gary's nuts. Yo, Gary was right again. Yeah. What well, the f we got to keep the story going. So there's like all these like um, very successful people in this call. And Gary's just like, everyone shut the f up. Here's what you're going to do, and you're going to do it right now. You're all going to buy a bunch of Crypto Punks. And we're all just like, he's like, who here owns one? And like one guy raised his hand. It's because Gary bullied him into buying it the day before. <laughs> oh no. So you have all these billionaires in one call and you got Gary V saying, hey guys, we can make another bajillion dollars right now. All you got to do is buy this one thing. Actually, I'm 100% confident because all of you, <laughs> by buying this stuff, you're basically going to be changing the market here. Not yes. to mention half of these guys are also influencers who are going to be promoting it to their audience. So obviously you're going to be artificial inflating the price of the asset and then you're gonna sell it after doing a pump and dump very very shady thing pump to admit on the podcast not sure how this made it in that you just got a click of billionaire friends who just allegedly manipulate the market when jimmy's talking about the phone call with the billionaires it sounds like the billionaires are coordinating together to buy an asset and then when they buy that asset and promote it to their fans it becomes more valuable and then they sell. Classic pump and dump. Also, when Gary V says, this will be the best decision of your life, I'm just asking questions, but does that sound like he has insider information to anyone else? Does it sound like that? I mean, it definitely sounds like that, but uh, I don't think this is a US congressman situation over here. Um, I do think that they can just influence the market to a large degree with their audiences and stuff. Definitely shady behavior. I'm not gonna say he has inside info, but um, definitely not good to be associated with this for the number one YouTuber. Now, after this, Mr. Beast actually admits to buying some of these NFTs. And as we know, everybody on the internet loves NFTs and they're totally not associated with scams or scummy behavior at all. I was just like so pulled by his like conviction yeah. that I bought a bunch. I wait, mean, wait, wait. Yeah, I bought quite a few. How many? Uh, I, I, I don't want to say, but you I, have I, to I, I, you have I to. bought multiple ones. Yeah. Well, bro, are you double digits, punks? Uh, double, just shy. Okay. okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So I, Yo, I, had, I, I, he's imagining just said 60. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Three I, I, zombies. I bought like eight of them, and um, they, they did pretty good. And any uh, any zingers? Any like real special yeah, I had, ones? Yeah, I had some that like, whatever, 20, 30x. What, what, what's a, what's a... Uh, we we a, bought a lot with like the I don't know what the hell they talking about. Like, cool. Really interesting and those, those did pretty well. What's another characteristic? Like, what's your rarest characteristic punk? So then I rolled the money into V Friends, because Gary, same thing, called me. He's like, V Friends? I was like, I don't fucking know, but last time I made money, sure, sure. Yeah, good idea. I'm just going to do exactly what what Gary V says. Come on, Somehow, Gary. I don't know how he's doing, guys. Gary knows the way, guys. He's generating money for me Look out of thin air. Now, the funniest thing is, to anybody outside of their bubble, they can immediately tell that this is extremely shady. And Mike, which is Logan Paul's uh, podcast host, is just like, uh, wait a minute, guys. Are, are you sure you're not manipulating the market here? Can I ask you guys a question? When, when Gary does that call with all these billionaires and uh, eight months or a year later, everybody's like, Gary was right again. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible that he's right because of the call? Do you know what I'm saying? I like, think about that like, a lot. dude, he has all these billionaire market makers in the thing. I think about he that makes a lot. the call, makes the market. By the way, you look around at all the punk owners a year later, and you're like, damn, it's all the same because they were on the call. No, because bro, there's, there's ten thousand punks, and there's only like thirty of us in the call. We can only own and do so much. There's still yeah. an entire yeah, yeah, market yeah. that's gonna happen regardless. Right. I can tell you, I don't think why because that was all back like early February. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I'm actually manipulating the market here. <laughs> like, no, why would I think that? That would, that would make me a scumbag, which I'm obviously not. How ironic is it that he's talking to Logan? Logan Paul, who ran CryptoZoo, allegedly one of the biggest scams, oh. and Logan also talks about this legendary idea to make a lot of money really quickly right after this, and uh, he wants Mr. Beast to get in on it as well. So uh, I, I wonder what that sounds like. Um, very familiar to something. I don't know what it is. Gary called me, and we have these talks. Like we, we talk probably every other day at least. Yeah. And he called me like a month ago. He's like, Logan, I promise you. Like I know you. You're a smart kid. If you play this right, like I know you can, like you do with Pokemon, the NFT industry, you can make a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah. And, and I go, how do, how do you not I go, like perk up? <laughs> how is this? How is this? But he's never he's wrong, right? Wrong. So that's where I, that's where I started. Yeah. And then, bro, the other day, I got the idea. 
Yeah. And I want to run it by you. Not now, off the podcast. The but I'm I'm pretty sure I had the most Ooh. revolutionary, uh, monumental piece of IP in my head, and I've been ID. I can't sleep for the past like two so days. Like you're making <laughs> the punk? Like no, 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 no. Just a really, really <laughs> special NFT project. Yeah, guys, it's just a really, 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 really special oh, NFT project. Thank you, level, Logan. Gang. What an amazing idea! I feel like you're you're just a crypto NFT expert. Actually, I'll be taking all of my advice from you from now on. Now you know why KSI, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul were actually working together. They've been doing this stuff behind the scenes all the time and they have actually been you know discussing all of their business together and you know finding any any which way to make money and extract money from their audiences absolute scumbags well here's a tweet of him promoting it at gary v i'm loaded up on some v friends can't wait to see what you do mr beast is like that stereotypical character in like any tv show where they have like dollar bills in their eyes he's like a mr krabs basically like (laughs) money did i hear money 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 sign me right up baby can i just say how idiotic you have to be to actually admit this on the internet and even upload it to the impulsive clips channel as well even the comment section just can't believe what they're hearing and they're all calling them out admitting to market manipulation on youtube lmao oh. gary running the greatest insider pump and dump group lol how is everyone such a big fan of him if this were equities they'd all hey, be doing that market boy gary man i like how casually I mr beast gary, is discussing gary. doing a rug I, pull how is this man not in prison and instead is a top youtuber well i don't know that's kind of what it takes to become a top youtuber these days ksi logan and mr beast all top youtubers and all have done extremely shady things it's just oh. not surprising at this point and i'm just glad everybody is starting to see the truth bit by bit obviously the dog pack video saga exposed a lot of the blemishes it's on mr beast team news. and uh dog pack continues his investigation although he they hasn't been uploading like on his channel he's been uh looking into mr beast crypto wallets and he's found over 10 million dollars there Ooh. i give my money away i'm poor like please cut the crap you're not poor million? he goes by the name wu-tang clan so some notable things about this account it was worth over 10 million dollars in april of 2021 oh my goodness look at that one that's a high spike wait how much is that that's a lot of money for a guy <laughs> she look like a a how much is that that's over 10 million dollars he had invested what do you in- mean how much is that do you not see can you not like bro it clearly says to Oh my goodness, look at that one. That's a high spike. Wait, how much is that? That's a lot of money for a guy who gives away all his money. How much is that? That's over $10 million. Shot it. So, so I'll post his yap just to get him sales talk. Get invested. <laughs> she just said, oh shit, I gotta he, say something. It seems like he allowed this company to use his likeness. He was certainly letting them use his brand to promote this cryptocurrency. I do have his crypto account and it did receive $560,000 Ooh. in uh, refinable Ooh. token. But I mean, anything could have had. I mean, you could have got that randomly from anyone. Mr. B7 invested in refinable. Oh, got it. So they tweet about it. They tweet about it. And then the price... Went and, up, then and then he sold, sold right and, and now uh currently today refinable is down 99.97 percent which is worse than logan paul's crypto zoo token wow what a great investment with mr beast's face on it <laughs> down 99.7 <laughs> hmm, wow i would love to buy some of that bro uh, yeah, that no. looks exactly like a rug pull he might have given them permission to use his face or something because otherwise i'd imagine they'd get sued or taken down or something <laughs> maybe they used it without his permission or whatever uh i can't confirm any of that or whatever but any crypto investigative experts please let me know coffeezilla please look into this you've already taken down uh, logan and ksi it's time for mr beast it's time for the biggest dog of them all and a couple months later he did invest in another project called xcad with ksi two months after receiving two hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars in xcad he sold it all i'm not saying it's a pump and dump but he allowed them to use his likeness pumping the currency and then uh dumped it yeah so it seems like he's had millions of dollars to throw around in in the crypto space which Mm -hmm. is kind of strange considering that he claims to give all his money away and reinvest into the videos so are you one of the rich people they want to eat i'm not that rich not yet you you are way more rich than me uh 
but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. So he gives all of his money away. He's poor. Jimmy's actually the brokest man ever. He is actually the poorest billionaire in the world. Now, Rosanna also calls out Mr. Beast for uh, potentially illegally gambling on sites banned in the U.S. It appears that they are gambling on Bustabit, which is a website that is illegal in the United States. He says, oh shit, that's probably the stupidest thing yeah, I've ever done. Video. What you can see in the reflection the of these large windows at night is the Bust a Bit website. Ooh, this video is only a couple years I old. I see that so in the video though. He's continuing <laughs> to do this behavior and not only gambling, but illegal gambling. Oh, the amount man. of time he's actually promoted gambling to his child audience, despite losing a lot of money from gambling himself and knowing the harms of it, problems. is uh, pretty concerning for sure. Especially that stuff he did with Feastables, making it a sort of lottery type mechanic as well. I spent $30,000 on lottery tickets. I spent $50,000 on scratch-off tickets. Why would you $100,000 worth of scratch-off tickets. That's probably I like spent one million dollars on scratch-off tickets. Sweet. And I really take issue with this because... Like if you actually spending a million dollars on scratch-off tickets, you might as well just give me the million dollars at that point. At that point, gang, you might as well, like, like, we just giving out free money here. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah, 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 true. His videos are targeted at children. Here's how it works. You take your ticket, you scan it, and boom, this $50 ticket won $200. So far, we're up $150 with one ticket. In this video, he is literally walking you through the steps of how to gamble. Mr. Beast is teaching us gambling? The what? easiest. Making it very accessible and easy for kids to do. All right, so definitely not something a child-friendly YouTuber should be doing. Uh. It's obvious Mr. Beast has an obsession with gambling and uh, lotteries. And uh, he's covered up his now deleted uh, live stream giveaways as well, where he's allegedly conducting illegal lotteries. But um, I don't know. It is a it is a cause of concern. Now, Mr. Beast is also getting some heat <laughs> on Twitter for having a job position for AI artist. This is right after he gave uh, Jaden Animation uh, a prize for uh, sending one of her fans to like art school or something. So pretty <laughs> hypocritical. Hey, Mr. Beast, go f yourself. Maybe put a real artist who needs a job on payroll instead of shilling out money for someone to put a prompt into a generator unbelievable Ooh. it's got 100k likes as well and we got ai concept artist now somebody actually made a pretty long thread going into some of mr beast crypto accounts and just uh finding some connections here and there and basically they found that mr beast has promoted coinbase as a sponsor in one of his videos and then he's actually cut it out later for a certain reason that somebody could possibly investigate. They also went through Mr. Beast's old Reddit account and you can see that he's had some bad experiences with Coinbase, but still promoted it because money over everything. Now they also found uh, 16 different crypto wallets connected to Jimmy, some receiving millions of dollars. Obviously that's not uh, anything damning as it is, but I wouldn't know why you would need that many wallets unless you're doing something shady, but obviously I'm not an investigator, but uh, yeah, if somebody wants to look into that, Go ahead. There's like an infinite amount of shady stuff this guy's done. But yeah, that's basically it for- Oh, man. Yeah, they didn't got Mr. Beast, man. Yeah, y'all gotta understand something about this, bro. He paints himself to be picture perfect almost. You know what I'm saying? The dude who's just rich, giving his money out to charity, doing the good things. And while he might probably, you know what I'm saying, majority of the time, give his money away to good, good causes. Everything that's good and- don't overlook something that's hidden in the dark, too. Like I say, I'm just a reactor at the end of the day. I don't know this, man. You probably don't know this, man. But you also got to think. You really don't know these people, right? These people could be anybody. Your biggest streamers, your favorite streamers, don't put anything past these people. Because at the end of the day, they just trying to eat. Because, yeah, they, they definitely probably eating more than most of us. But at some point, greediness comes out, bro. So for every legitimate thing they're doing, they make a revenue off, I don't know, their, their, their YouTube channel, their streams, all type of stuff, man. There's also stuff in the dark that they do too. It's all being exposed in real time. This, this has been, that, and I'm going to get into this maybe in another video, but this has really been the year of exposing, bro. 2024. A lot is coming to light, bro. But I could go on and on about that. But just know, man, I don't know. It's more to it's more to it than you think, bro. That's all I'm going to say.
But anyways, comment down below what y'all think, man. Get, give me y'all reaction, man. Get, let, let, let me, let's have a conversation, man. Let, let's talk about some things, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you feel. If you new, you already know what to do. I ain't got to tell you to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications or none of that. Because if you really want to, you will. The choice is yours. <laughs> the choice is yours, gang. As always, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Seven grade. I was bad at school. I was always fighting. Eleven grade. I was pimping hoes, but I ain't have a license. Nah,